Exercise 2, import the rails and create a sorted line. In this exercise, you will learn how to import horizontal rail points from an ASCII file using the import wizard, and also how to create a sorted line to represent both the left and right rails to a set of criteria. In this section, we'll learn how to import a set of survey points stored in a comma-separated comma variable file. These points represent the survey positions of existing rails. If not already done so, can you please open the DGN metric existing left rail? So just go to file, and if it's in the list of files to open, just select it. Now, from the rail ribbon, we're going to go to import points. On the heads up prompt, you'll be prompted to locate a horizontal element for station offset method. We're not going to use station offset method. We're going to use the import points method. So reset if station offset method is not required. So just right click on that. And we're going to now pick from the list in our dataset folder the CSV file that represents the XY positions of the left rail. So we're going to pick this left rail XY underscore M dot CSV file. We're going to use a text import wizard. The text import wizard has been generated to look at the CSV file and sort the X, Y, and Z into columns. From the feature definition, we're going to use from the points, the rail, we're going to use here the regression point underscore LT. And the name of these points, we're going to give them a point name of L point. And we're now just going to import those points. The processing bar now says it's been done. And the import has been complete. And we can see at the bottom of the dialog box, it says the import is complete. Let's close the ASCII file, import wizard and hit the fit view and there are our left rail surveyed points. We're now going to repeat that process to do the right rail. So let's go to file. Let's pick the metric existing right rail. That file is now opened. Again from the rail ribbon, we're going to go to import points. Again, we're using the import points method, not the station offset method. So again, it's a reset. We're now going to pick the right rail XY underscore MCSV file. Again, we're using the same wizard. Feature definition, again, is the same. Point. This time we're using the regression point RT. And we'll leave the point name the same. And just import. And again, the import is complete and just close the import horizontal points dialog box and again hit fit view. And there is the existing right rail points. Now we need to create a line from these points. So the first one I'm going to look at again is the left rail. So I'm going to go back to file. I'm going to pick the existing left rail dot DGN. Again, I'm going to hit fit view to see the points. So what we have to do in this particular section 
is we have to identify the first point in our list of rails. And we also have to identify the second point in our list of rails. When you do that, it establishes both the starting point and the, the direction in which the, the points are moving. So first of all, what we need to do is I'm going to use my element selection tool here to select all the points. So all the points now are selected. You can see at the bottom, it says here there's 426 points selected. So again, from the rail ribbon, we're going to select sort horizontal points. And you'll notice on the end of your cursor, it says data point to add 402 selected points. Now we have to uh, put some values in the sort horizontal points box. So the minimum distance that we want between the points is one meter. The maximum distance between the points is 50 meters. Now, if that distance is exceeded, the horizontal sorted line will stop at that point. So you have to make sure that the maximum distance between the points is set correctly here. Uh, we're going to set a maximum deviation. This is the deviation angle between the associated points. We're going to set that as two. The feature definition we're going to set to job temp. And the name we're going to give to this sorted line, we're going to call it the uh, existing left rail. So data point to accept the points locate the start point so we're going to window in and pick the start point which is that first point down here second point don't forget this determines the direction in which the points are moving accept the minimum distance tolerance accept the maximum distance tolerance accept the maximum deviation and let the processing of the points begin so now if I use my element selection tool to cancel a command out and hit fit view, there is my sorted line running all the way down the left rail. Now we need to repeat that process for the right rail. But first of all, I just want to look at the properties of that sorted line. So again, I'm just going to uh, window in at any area on the line. So you can see the sorted line here. And again, I'm just going to select it. And from the context sensitive toolbar, I'm going to go here to the properties of the line. So you can see here's the point, feature name, feature definition, and here's your stroking values. The stroking values are the stroking values when it goes round a curve. So let me do the same for the right rail. So open the right rail.dgn. Again, I'm going to hit fit view. And again, I'm going to use, use my element selection tool to select all the points. And you can see there's 426 points selected. Again, go to sort horizontal points. <coughs> And the only thing I'm going to change here is the name to be existing right rail. Accept the 426 selected points. Again, we have to choose the start point. And remember the second point to define the direction. Again, accept the minimum distance tolerance, the maximum distance tolerance, the maximum deviation and again there it's now created that sorted line and again if I just hit fit view so we now have two lines representing one the left rail and the other the right rail and that's the completion of exercise two If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.